Across the southeastern U.S., target spot is a newly emerging disease of cotton. As a result, efforts are just being made to develop the information base necessary to develop a management program for this disease in cotton. Considerable differences in severity of target spot have been seen across Alabama. Disease severity appears to decline the further north cotton is grown in Alabama. Yield robin disease outbreaks are likely on most cotton varieties in central and particularly south Alabama, but the risk of significant yield loss is much lower in the Tennessee Valley region, even in irrigated cotton. In mid to late summer, this disease will not be an issue in drought-stressed cotton. Risk factors that enhance target spot development start with the frequent showers alone or when combined with irrigation. Target spot often develops quickly or after canopy closure and is worse in rank cotton. So far, the impact of cotton cropping frequency and tillage practices on target spot severity are unknown, though the disease should be worse in no-till continuous cotton. Lint yield loss appears to differ by cotton variety susceptibility to target spot. While many varieties have not been tested, lint losses in the range of 250 to 350 pounds per acre have been recorded for the susceptible variety Phytogen 499 as compared with 50 to 250 pounds per acre for less susceptible varieties like DPL 1050 and DPL 1252. To date, target spot management options center on cotton variety selection and fungicide use. Phytokin 499 has proven highly susceptible to target spot and is at great risk for significant yield loss, while most DPL, Stoneville, and Fibermax varieties are moderately susceptible to target spot but may suffer sizable yield loss under favorable conditions. One target spot management option would be to plant a moderately susceptible or tolerant variety in a high risk setting. Fungicides are a possible management option particularly in higher risk settings. Since irrigated cotton typically receives higher production inputs as compared with dry land cotton, yield gains from fungicide inputs are likely to be higher. In irrigated cotton, make the first application at or shortly after first bloom and follow with a second 14 days later. For dry land cotton, fields need to be scouted weekly, particularly those that have good yield potential in excess of two bales per acre for target spot symptoms beginning at first bloom. Fungicides registered for target spot control include Twinline Headline 2.09 SC and Quadris 2.08 SC. Use patterns for all these fungicides are similar. Refer to the product label for additional information concerning the product uses and restrictions. Research in Alabama and Georgia indicates that more consistent yield gains have been obtained with headline 2.09 SC applied at 9 fluid ounces per acre than other fungicide treatment programs. Two applications of higher rates of headline 2.09 SC have not resulted in better disease control or superior yields. To get better coverage of the leaves in the mid and lower canopy, apply a minimum of 10 gallons of spray volume per acre. Research in 2013 suggests that the rescue fungicide programs were the first application it was made after defoliation has started will also protect cotton lint yields as if not more effectively as the recommended preventative program. Yield gains from the fungicide inputs have ranged up to 120 pounds of lint per acre. Additional information on the diagnosis and control of target spot as well as the results of recent research projects can be found in the publications at the websites listed here.